the creation of the universe. Many scientists who do not blindly condition themselves to be atheists have admitted the role of an almighty creator in the creation of the universe. This creator must be a being who has created both matter and time, yet who is independent of both. Well-known astrophysicist Hugh Ross has this to say. If time's beginning is concurrent with the beginning of the universe, as the space theorem says, then the cause of the universe must be some entity operating in a time dimension completely independent of and pre-existent to the time dimension of the cosmos. This conclusion tells us that God is not the universe itself, nor is God contained within the universe. Yes, matter and time are created by the Almighty Creator, who is independent of all these notions. This Creator is Allah, who is the Lord of the heavens and the earth. In truth, the Big Bang caused much greater trouble for the materialists than the above confession of the atheist philosopher Anthony Flew. For the Big Bang not only proves that the universe was created out of nothing, but also that it was brought into being in a very planned, systematic, and controlled manner. The Big Bang took place with the explosion of the point which contained all the matter and energy of the universe and its dispersion into space in all directions with a terrifying speed. Out of this matter and energy, there came about a great balance containing galaxies, stars, the sun, the earth, and all other heavenly bodies. Moreover, laws were formed called the laws of physics, which are uniform throughout the whole universe and do not change. The laws of physics that emerged together with the Big Bang did not change at all over a period of 15 billion years. Furthermore, these laws stand on calculations so scrupulous that even a millimeter's variation from their current values could result in the destruction of the whole structure and configuration of the universe. All these indicate that a perfect order arose after the Big Bang. Explosions, however, do not bring about order. All of the observable explosions tend to harm, disintegrate, and destroy what is present. If we were to be introduced to a very detailed order after an explosion, we then might conclude that there was a planned creation behind this explosion and that all the pieces dispersed by the explosion had been made to move in a very controlled way. The quote from Sir Fred Hoyle, who finally had to accept the theory after many years of opposition to the Big Bang Theory, expresses this situation very well. The Big Bang Theory holds that the universe began with a single explosion. Yet, as can be seen, an explosion merely throws matter apart, while the Big Bang has mysteriously produced the opposite effect, with matter clumping together in the form of galaxies. No doubt, if a great order arose with an explosion, then it should be accepted that the intervention of a creator is involved in every moment of this explosion.